Hey, it's Jerry O'Neill with Mike Tuck. We're Tuck and O'Neill, Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando. For those who've been emailing me, yes, I know I need a haircut. One of the things we're excited about, Mike, we're now five weeks out from the start of the college football season. 35 days. The brand new Top 25 came out. What'd you think? Well, my initial reaction is it was about what we would expect. I think it's what we've seen in all the preseason magazines thus far. My initial reaction, a couple of teams that I think are overrated going into the season. Uh, TCU, I don't think they're going to be able to live up to their lofty billing. I look at their schedule. I look at the defensive losses they had in the close games that they won a year ago. I think they're not going to be number two. I don't think they're going to be in the college football playoff. Georgia, I think, is overrated as well. When you got Alabama and Auburn you play out of the West, uh, not to mention what they play within their conference, replacing their quarterback, I don't see it. I don't think they'll finish in the top 10. Michigan State, I think you got Michigan, Nebraska, Ohio State all on the road, Oregon coming to town. You're going to take some losses on there. I don't see them as a top 10 team. And Florida State, I, you know, I'm just not on board the way you're on board with them. I look at all the close wins they had a year ago. They're going to take on some water this year. I just can't help but feel it with all the losses to the NFL and Jameis Winston gone. They're going to take on some major water. I Crimea think. River. Uh, Everett Golson will lead them to great heights this year. You can put that in ink, okay? First of all, the SEC leads all conferences. They have eight teams in the top 25, number 26, number 27, so they get 10. 13 of the 14 teams, everybody not named Vanderbilt, got votes, including Florida, for the top 25. But you got to go play the games. Here's something, though, that catches my attention. This story. Top-ranked Ohio State, 62 of the 64 first-place votes, is now going to have four leading players, including defensive All-American, maybe the number one pick next spring, if they could keep him off the weed. That is the rumor. Four guys suspended for the opener. That's a shame. NFL football will open its season without Tom Brady. That's a shame. College football will open up with number one Ohio State on the road at Virginia Tech. And the theme will be during it, some of the athletes not playing because they can't follow basic rules. That's a shame. We're talking O'Neill, weekdays 3 to 6. Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando.